Hello everyone, this is Daisy, aka The Professional High Priestess, and I'm here to drop the January love reading for fire signs, okay? So this will be timestamped, so go ahead and just see what sign you are, and then go ahead and jump to your sign. So let's start off with the um, Romance Angels. I bought these Romance Angel cards on the internet. I thought they were the real deal, but they weren't. I guess during Virtue, she converted or whatever. That's what happens when you deal with too many entities. She's kind of confused and stopped selling me her decks. So they're like $400 now, but I like these. Okay, so what do we have for fire signs? Let's start with Aries. The Aries Collective. Someone Rising, Mercury, North Node in love for January. Aries in love for January. Okay, Aries in love. January okay so Aries what we have for you in love is it says love yourself first so um, what I'm seeing here for you Aries is there may be a situation that you're now starting to see that there's some codependency okay involved um, and you are realizing that you need to focus on yourself work on yourself before you are able to have a healthy relationship with anybody else and it says here your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so you could have been dealing with something karmic as well because those type of relationships are the ones that usually teach us a lot about self-respect self-worth self-love etc messages for Aries and love someone rising mercury and north node messages for Aries and love someone rising mercury and north node okay for January 2020 January Aries someone rising mercury and north node Aries someone rising mercury and north node Aries someone rising mercury and north node in love and romance okay Aries someone rising mercury and north node Aries someone rising mercury and north node in love and romance the Aries collective all right, so Aries, what's happening for you in love is, yeah, like I said, there could have been a karmic situation, but there's justice now coming to that situation. Um, there could have been a child's mother involved. There could be something going on with you and a child's father, like a, a love relationship where maybe, you know, your person was trying to stop you from going into the justice system, using romance to do so and, you know, leaving the burden on you. But now you're like, I'm loving myself first. I'm engaging in the system to get my just due. I can't be involved in this relationship with you anymore, especially here with the Knight of Pentacles. This does indicate some financial stability, someone who's lacking stability, some loyalty, um, the ability to follow through. OK, that's uh, stuck at a, at a standstill. Still. And then with the Queen of Cups being here, um, with the Justice card as well, that, that lets me know that you are also, you know, learning how to love yourself. Because the Queen of Cups in the upright is a woman who's emotionally secure and stable. Could have water in your chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio has just been doing a lot of emotional healing. You've gotten your karmic justice, okay? And now you're able to move forward <clears throat> into loving yourself first and maybe finding new love. Messages for Aries, someone rising Mercury, North Node. Okay, for love, January 2020. Messages for Aries. Someone rising. Mercury North Node. Love and romance. Love and romance for Aries. Okay, three of wands. All right, I definitely could see there was maybe a situation here too where um someone is maybe dealing with a distant lover. Okay, could be a Libra here with the Justice card or a Capricorn, uh, uh, Virgo, or Taurus. So with the three of wands being here, Aries, and, you know, with the queen of cups, it's like you are looking out into the distance towards justice, right? But this three of wands is like looking neither at the queen of cups or the knight of pentacles, like out into a new horizon. So I feel like whoever you were dealing with, you're moving forward and away from that person because there could have been a lot of lies, deception, emotion, deceit, etc. And you don't want to deal with that anymore. Okay, so um, let's see what other messages do I see for Aries in love, January 2020. 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 Um, so we have the four of cups reverse and then we have the chariot here as well. So with the four of cups being here in reverse, Aries, um, I definitely feel like, you know, there could have been a situation where you could have stopped. There could have been lack of passion. Um, the love may have been lost. Um, maybe someone was being indecisive in the past and this caused a lot of obstacles and delays. 
with the chariot being here too, I feel like there's a situation that you're not going to be moving forward with. It's run its course with the justice card here, karmic justice. I feel like whoever maybe you were dealing with could have been causing you to have delays, money problems and issues. Now you're realizing that there's no alignment or that there's an alignment elsewhere or with someone else and you're moving towards that, okay? That's what I see for you, Aries, for love, for January 2020, okay? Let's get a chopper message for Aries, for love, January 2020. Aries, 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 Aries. Chopper message for Aries, someone rising Mercury and North Node, for love, January 2020. Aries, the sign of Aries, for love, Aries. Uh, Aries, we have the card that says victim. So that's what I was saying earlier. I felt like you may have been dealing with someone who was unstable, unloyal, didn't have their finances together. Um, and they could have been maybe like maybe using you or manipulating you, causing you obstacles and delays. Okay. Um, maybe this person was wishy-washy sometimey that dealt with you when you wanted to. That's why it says love yourself first here. And then that's why you got the victim card to clarify. You know, this person was probably like preying on you, but the karmic justice is being served here with the justice card here. All right. So let's see. Let's see what Lenormand we get. Let's see. What messages do you have for Aries? Summarizing Mercury and North Node and love for January 2020. Messages for Aries for love and romance. January 2020. Aries. 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 Ah, so we have the page of cups okay the two and the four goes to the six which is to me like the lover's card is six of pentacles equal give and take six of swords traveling away from difficult situations right uh six of wands victory okay um and six of cups soulmate reconciliation etc so with this being here i feel like there that's what i was saying earlier there's the relationship that is either coming to an end and you're going to be moving forward with someone else okay Someone else is going to be coming in. Someone that's more on your frequency that matches your vibration. Someone who is more balanced and not unstable or a knight of pentacle that doesn't have their things together. All right. <clears throat> that's what I got for you. All right. So let's go ahead and move to the next fire sign. And that is going to be Sagittarius. Okay. Let's get into Sagittarius in love for January 2020. Sagittarius in love. January 2020, Sagittarius in love, January 2020. Sagittarius, someone rising, Mercury and North Node, January 2020, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right, it says healing family issues. So, Sag, I feel like what's happening for you is you are starting to analyze the ways in which your childhood has contributed to the issues that you're having now in your love relationships i feel like there's a lot of repressed emotions and things that are not that have not been talked about that are you know still lingering that are causing major issues in your love life today um and now other people are you know you're engaging with other people out in the real world and you're failing to realize how you may be hurting them and others in the process of these family issues not being healed and it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so maybe something that is happening here too is you may have a parent interfering in your, in your relationship causing problems between you and your partner you know um then i see you know with the angel up above there i, de I definitely feel like maybe there's some judgment coming down right now around family engagement with the relationship or someone's family issues and the lack of healing around that and how it's impacting a relationship and other people yeah i feel like there's some judgment happening all right messages for sagittarius and love sag sun moon rising mercury and north node for january 2020 <clears throat> messages for Sagittarius okay we have the moon <clears throat> messages for Sagittarius someone rising in love and romance Sagittarius love and romance Sagittarius love and romance love and romance for Sagittarius love and romance for Sagittarius who's this queen of cups making her rounds Love and romance for Sagittarius, okay? Could be dealing with the Libra, could be dealing with the Leo. Love and romance for Sagittarius, someone rising. Sagittarius, someone rising, love and romance. 
You're definitely showing up here with the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiterian energy, okay? That's Sag energy for sure. So, um, Sag, what I'm seeing here, there may have been some secrets exposed. Yeah, karmic justice may have been served. I'm seeing, that's that's the theme in a lot of readings that I've been also giving too because of the different transits. The energy is working faster than I thought it was. Usually it takes like six months for the heavy things to come down, materialize in the ethers here from these transits, but it's happening quicker than I thought. The moon reverse could be dealing with the Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Something was revealed. Could be dealing with the Libra here, okay? In your love relationship, now you're getting justice for maybe someone was cheating, infidelity, some Someone was, you know, had a choice between two people here, a queen of wands and a queen of cups. Um, maybe, and then there's the wheel of fortune here, meaning something changed and fate changed. And the fact that it's under this queen of cups and by this queen of wands lets me know that maybe someone was going to move forward with someone else at first. Then they decided to move out forward with someone else because that person may have been more stable. They saw a better future with them, etc. With the strength card here, I feel like there was some restraint happening in this love situation. There was maybe a lot of pride, a lot of ego, and there's karmic justice now being served because someone, regardless of the pride or ego that they try to have, to control the situation they were still exposed with the moon card here now they're having to heal issues that they have that they're realizing are deep rooted here yeah that's exactly what i was saying earlier like some 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 things coming up to the surface moons deep rooted things subconscious things someone's recognizing patterns in their love relationships sag that's what's happening for you in january 2020 okay um mess one more card for sag sagittarius someone rising mercury oh these cards come on <clears throat> Sagittarius, someone rising, Mercury, North Node. Eight of Swords, someone is no longer feeling trapped or bound to a toxic situation. Okay, maybe someone's getting out of jail. Maybe someone found out that while you were in jail, you know, you had someone pregnant here with the Queen of Cups. Because kind of see, she kind of looks like she's, you know, poking. Um, healing family issues here. Someone, you know, they may have been bound to a situation that was toxic just staying with someone because they were their spouse or something right but they got out of that with the wheel of fortune and went elsewhere this, this could also be someone using like doing moon magic with the eight of swords in the moon here right to kind of restrict somebody with the strength card being here but luck luck and destiny change and justice is now here for whoever was doing that okay um i'm feeling just like a lot of control issues and people do use spell work to do for in that manner because it's like connected to their mental illness now with the moon being here Okay, and then we had the Eight of Swords Justice. Like I said, someone could have been in jail. Someone could have also um, found out that maybe the person that they were dealing with that's in jail was also dealing with someone else while they were in jail. Okay, maybe getting money put on their books by both people, something like that. All right, had someone pregnant while they were in jail, didn't tell you, had them, had you doing all that kind of stuff for them. All right, message. That's the messages that I got for you, Sagittarius. Um, I'm also feeling too that someone needs to just really be careful with what they do with their sexual energy because they can end up in a situation that is going to be really hard to get out of, all right, with the Eight of Swords and the Moon card. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the Chakra card. All right, give us a message for Sagittarius in love, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, North Node, all right, for the month of January 2020, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, North Node. All right, we got Vanity Sag. So basically what I do see here is that maybe someone was in a relationship with someone just because of what they had. That could have been exposed, okay? I also feel that with the Wheel of Fortune, someone may have had a change of heart, change of future, destiny, something changed within their psyche or mind, and then there was a movement in terms of this love relationship or situation that I'm seeing here. With this Vanity, maybe someone is starting to realize that they only go for certain people in relationships because of what they have. Now they're starting to realize how that created Eight of Swords energy for them and Moon energy where they were being literally ran by their subconscious mind, okay? And how maybe their sexual energy, they, they made sexual choices based on what they can get for Vanity with this Vanity card being here, all right? Messages for Sagittarius, Someone Rising, Mercury, North Node, and Love and Romance for January. Messages for Sagittarius, Someone Rising, Mercury, and North Node. Let's see what we have, Sash. So we have the 12, okay, which breaks down to a three, all right? The threes are all about messages, 
So with these birds being here as well, I feel like there's going to be some messages coming in from somebody, all right? Someone may have had a change of perspective. Now they're coming in to share that change of perspective with you with the birds here and, and the house. With the writer here at the as well, yeah, the writer too is also about messages. Seven of Pentacles here, somebody is coming to reveal some information, etc. to you about now a decision that's been made. The messages here as well with the writer card bringing good news of abundance these two cards is a good combo to have okay all right Sag so that's for you for January 2020 for love and romance all right so let's go ahead and get into um Leo all right Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and North Node, January 2020. For love and romance. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and North Node, January 2020. Love and romance. Leo. It says express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, Leo, there's someone that you want to communicate with, someone that you have on your mind, someone that you care about, um, that you love dearly, Leo. Someone rising Mercury North Node for January, love and romance. But I feel like there's something that may be blocking you from speaking. I see blue on this lady's dress, so there could be some throat, throat chakra things, okay? Having to do with, like, maybe childhood or stability, grounded. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough courage or money or things in the material to impress this person, which I don't feel like that should be an issue if that person is genuine and deserving of your love leo okay so that shouldn't be an issue so let's see what messages do we have for leo someone rising in love mercury uh, mercury as well january 2020 for leo leo's in love romance messages for leo love and romance messages for leo love and romance january 2020 so Leo, I have the Tower, the Sun, and the Magician. That's heavy energy. Those are all major arcana. So I see. I feel like there's changes happening for you in your love life. There could be a breakup. The Judgment card is here with the Four of Swords. Yeah. All right, Leo. So basically what's going on here, there could have been a breakup because someone was being manipulative. They got exposed for that. There was judgment had to be called in the situation because I believe that the Tower had to come in. You could be an Aries, have Aries in your chart or Scorpio in your chart. Because you were not heeding the messages and the warnings that were being given to you in terms of this situation. I feel like who there there this could have been a karmic situation that you just kept on repeating. Okay. Now you're getting rest with the four swords here, recuperation and healing, so that you can realize this is the ways in which I've created the situation for myself. Tapping into the sun energy to bring more happiness and vitality into your life to shed light on why you keep on having tower moments on one side and what magician energy reverse are you bringing into your life that you're expressing or letting others express onto you that's creating these tower moments, causing you to be exposed, causing judgment to be called upon you. Okay, Leo, this could be you for the person that you're dealing with. All right. What's the tower for Leo and love for January 2020? We have the page of pentacles. Yeah, there could have been a message or information or something about a child that came through information. Okay, the pages are childs, they're messengers, they're new areas of study. Someone could have dif discovered some information about somebody and that led to, for, for them having to, you know, have a judgment call. Now they are resting before they go ahead and make a romantic gesture with the express your love here. Okay, because it's all intertwined. What's the magician reverse for Leo? Someone rising, Mercury and North Node. Someone could have also been doing spell work and that was exposed and it caused a tower moment, right? Maybe it caused someone to lose financially, etc. Now judgment's being called on whoever did that. That's what's another that I'm getting to in a love triangle. Yeah, we have the star card here with the magician. So there was some manipulation, some trickery. Someone was being conniving potentially over money because I see the seven of pentacles on the top and then three of pentacles on the top here, Leo. Um, maybe this person's trickery and mess caused issues for you in the workplace or with friends and families uh, because you started to realize that maybe this person you were investing in is not a good investment. Now you're expressing your love elsewhere or expressing the lack of love that you have for this person and you're ready to go heal with the star card, which is your sister sign. Uh, Aquarius, you could be dealing with one, okay? It could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo as well, all right? But I definitely feel like there was this karmic situation having to do around maybe finances, emotional ma manipulation, something happening at work, okay? And now someone, it's time for them to heal after going through that four of swords energy, okay? <clears throat> Realizing that the relationship was not in alignment with their highest good and that there may be something better out there. 
after dealing with this person or the situation, okay? All right. So, or maybe you get a message and it causes a tower moment for you. Maybe someone's coming in to express their feelings after being manipulative and a magician. That's also a message because they've been under judgment for what they've been doing. They probably realize they have passion for you with this passion card at the bottom of the deck. Then we have isolation here, blue throat chakra. Someone I feel like maybe is with the page of pentacles here, bringing in a message. Well, with the isolation card, maybe you're taking the time away from yourself to no longer be like the, the hot guy, the hot girl, the magician reverse manipulating people and collecting panties and boxers, right? Or the person that you're dealing with and taking the time to heal after going through judgment. Wow, with this four of swords here and the star here. Someone is healing after going through a lot of tur uh, turmoil and trauma that they caught up, could have potentially caused for themselves. All right, messages from the Lenormand, please. Messages for Leo, someone rising Mercury and North Node in love and romance. Leo's. For January 2020, 11 romance. Leo's. January 2020, 11 romance. So we have the 23 breaks down into a five, five of swords, five of wands, five of cups. Okay. I do see that here with the mice here. The mice represents like, a, like thieves, people that you need to watch out for because they're like nibbling here and there from your bounty and stuff like that when you're not watching. All right. Seven of wands energy. This can be, maybe you have Mars in the seventh house, Mars in the 11th house. Okay. Um, a lot of 11th house or seventh house or fourth house energy and, and energy that brings people who like don't have good intentions for you, you know, on the surface, but beneath me act like they do and i see that here with the magician card as well so that's what you got for in the lenormand all right leo so that's your reading all right fire sign so that's your reading thank you so much for watching if you need a personal reading go ahead and check the description box below i hope you enjoy the reading